So the, the last talk before the coffee break is uh, by uh, Dr. Shomiai, and he's going to talk about the effects of uh, administration local application of deuterium depleted water on dogs and cats suffering from spontaneous malignancies. Ladies and gentlemen, so I, I have to say that most of the work, 99% of this work was carried out by Sabo Marian, who is a vet, and he, she, was, she was one of the most active vet uh, in the last 10 years who, who collected and he, 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 he treated lots of uh, cats and dogs, and I will show the results that is carried from his, her work. So the very first uh, cat we, we treated, it was 15 years ago, and uh, it was a nine-year-old cat with leukosis in a very, very late stage. Uh, the cat couldn't eat and couldn't drink, so it, he, he, her weight was four kilogram. And at the beginning, we have to inject a couple of milliliter of deuterium repeated water, uh, but we saw after a couple of weeks that, that the cat improved, and six months later, uh, the pathologist couldn't confirm the leukosis. And the point is, I, I was very surprised when someone called me that that cat was 22 years old a couple of years ago. So we can think about anti-aging. Uh, after that, with Tomasz Berkeny, we, we treated different animals, and I collected a couple of dogs with, which had a breast cancer. That was the very first dog with breast cancer, 10 times 6 centimeter, and nine months later it was 3 times 2 centimeter. Here we couldn't see the regression of the primary tumor, but the metastasis disappeared. Here there was a complete response, and we treated, treated several, several animals, and we collected the results. And the final conclusion was that in 1999 we've got a registered drug for, for veterinary use. So we were very happy to have a drug at, at least for, for dogs and cats. And uh, this is on the market for, for over 10 years, and, uh, and, and I will show a couple of summary about this reason. But I also would like to show some kinetic. We used uh, dogs and cats, and we gave them water with 30 ppm, and every third week we took a blood sample, and we measured the deconcentration. And this is one example for a dog, which consume exclusively deuterium depleted water, and you could see that the longer they consume, when we add back the no normal water, the deuterium level went up. And here is an example for with a cat. It it had it also happened in the same way. Okay. Uh, if we would like to summarize the the results of the last ten years, uh, here is a couple of tables. So here is dogs and cats with breast cancer, and we could say that roughly 50% we could get a complete response. 11% alone, the DDW consumption resulted a complete response, but of course, when there was a good response and the tumor uh, size decreased, uh, it was suggested to operate and uh, remove the rest of the tumor. So this is the combination of the surgery and deuterium repeated water. In roughly 20%, we could get a partial response either by surgery combina combined with DDW or alone. Uh, no change were in uh, 13 percent, 13 percent was the progression of disease, and if you see the results in the rectum tumor, we could see roughly almost the same ratio. We could say 57 to 80 percent of these animals responded extremely well. And uh, with leukosis cat, we have the same results, and we couldn't see any results with the dogs uh, having leukosis. Beside these, we have some other animals with not a big number bladder, liver, pancreas, and lung cancer, and we could see that these type of tumor also responded quite well. On the other hand, when we checked animals with, with sarcomatoid tumors, we, we didn't see that, that good response. So it was evident that we could extend the life expectancy of these animals, we could slow down the progression of the disease, but, but we couldn't say, okay, we could cure or, or we could get a complete response. So one of the questions which can raise whether we can increase the efficacy of, of deuterium depleted water. Because in all cases, we used as a peros, so 
the normal water, drinking water, was replaced with deuterium depleted water. Here is some other tumor types we, we couldn't get so good results. So, and the question is, uh, if as I show that when an animal start to consume deuterium depleted water, there is a gradual decrease in the body, uh, which could be one, two, three, five ppm per day, and there is an equilibrium, and when it changes after that. So the question was, when we didn't get good response, whether it's due to the low dosage, and if it can increase, and we can get a sharper decrease in the concentration, whether it can modify and enhance our efficacy. So the thing, we decided to prepare a, uh, a physical salt solution with a 25 ppm deuterium, and we had have an equipment which is a needle-free injection. It means that we can push the physical salt solution uh, into the intracellular space by using a high pressure. And now, a couple of slides, you will see how effective can be the deuterium depletion. This is a breast cancer uh, without treatment before our, the treatment with DDW, and you can see the tumor is growing down and infiltrate the, the area. And we apply the DDW locally, we could see that, that the tumor was uh, rejected from the body and the tumor was sitting on a stalk after five weeks. This is a control animals. These animals had a breast cancer. The breast cancer started to grow and after a couple of weeks those, these animals died. That dog wasn't treated with deuterium depleted water. So this is a normal way how a tumor develop and, and kill the animal. This series, another tumor, the tumor is on the uh, on the eyelid of the dog. Here you can see also there is some stalk and the tumor is, is uh, coming out from the body and uh, it can increase the operability and it's very easy to remove the rest of the tumor. The next uh, sl slide shows another tumor on the uh, auricle of the animal. Here's a tumor, four weeks treatment, eight weeks treatment, 16 weeks, uh, 24 weeks treatment, there is a huge regression. And I can show you again a contra animals which hadn't been treated with deuterium depleted water, so the tumor destroyed the whole uh, part of this uh, organ. Another example, again, rectum tumor, the size was so big, locally injected, causing a, a big decrease in the concentration. There was a gradual decrease in the tumor size. And this is my favorite. That dog was uh, uh, diagnosed with hemangus sarcoma on the neck, and that dog received the chemotherapy and radiotherapy, and that time they wanted to kill the animals, saying, okay, this is the end of the story. So we could get the animals, and Marian started the treatment. Here you can see that the necrotized part of the tumor disappeared, and 10 weeks later, there is a good regression, big recession, and 14 weeks later, even regressed, and later the tumor completely gone. So finally, these animals are still alive after two or three years after the treatment. This is a rectile tumor. The tumor disappeared, and here I only would like to show what we have done with the other animals also. So we took the samples regularly after a couple of weeks of treatment, and we asked the pathology to, to analyze on cell level. So before we started the treatment, the pathologist says this is an adenocarcinoma, after four weeks, uh, it was said it's an apocrine adenoma, which means there was a shift from malignus to benignus. And after eight weeks, uh, no tumor cells were, were uh, uh, found. That was a heavy lymphoid infiltration, which is part of this curing process, as the immune system goes there, goes there and, and eliminate the necrotized cells. Uh, 